we can easily use Jeepsick in VS Code for AI-powered coring assistance. Let's see how we can do that. First, go to this URL, olama.com, and here we will download Olama that allows you to run large language models or LLMs on a local machine efficiently. It is optimized for running AI models like DeepSeek, Llama, and others without needing cloud-based processing. So click on download. And here, by default, your operating system will be selected. Just click on download for Windows or download for Mac OS if you're a Mac or Linux. It'll take around two minutes to finish downloading. After it has finished downloading, you can press the start key and type Olama, and you'll see this app. To verify if this is successfully installed, you can just click on it. And here you'll see Olama. If you right-click on it, you can see view logs and quit Olama. And if you can see this icon here, it means that Olama is successfully running. Now you need to download models like DeepSeek or Codestroll or any other model that you want to use. So let's open command prompt. And you can check what models you have available to download with Olama. So let's click on models and here you can see DeepSeek, Aron, Llama, Pi and so many other models. So let's say we want to use coding focus model of DeepSeek. So let me search for it. So as you can see here is DeepSeek Coder, version 2 DeepSeek Coder, DeepSeek V3 and so many other DeepSeek related models. So I'll just go ahead and download this one, DeepSeek Coder. To download this, you can just type this command. Olama run deep seek coder and then colon and then this 1.3b. So you can also download 6.7b and 33b. So, but these require more RAM. Since I'm on my laptop, I'll just download 1.3b, hit enter. And as you can see, the download of this model has started. Since I have already downloaded this, I can just see this send a message, but it will take a few minutes in your case. And after it has been downloaded successfully, you'll see this message send a message. To verify if this is working, you can just say, who are you or wherever, and it will run locally and it will respond to you. So now we have successfully added deep sea caller. So we will use this for autocomplete and we can use different model for chat. So let's say we want to use not the coder version, just the pain old deep seek for chat. So what I can do is I can just let's close this and this time let's run the R1 version. So as you can see, it includes reasoning models with comparer performance to open AI01. So we'll just type deep seek R1. And which version do we want to use? We want to use 1.5b because that is a smaller one. And we probably need a lot more RAM to run these. So you can just click on this and see the requirements. And this is how you can run this model. And so also we have 1.5b, sign b, and so many others. Okay, so now once you have installed these, these two models, one for chat and one for Corolla completion, you can close this. And finally, you can go to your Visual Studio Code, go to extensions, and search for continue. And this is an extension that allows you to use any coding model in your VS Code. So first install continue. And after installation, you will see this continues logo here. Click on this. And in my case, I have already set it up. So, in my case, I've already set up a config file for this, so you can click on this settings icon here, and config.json will open. This should be empty in your case. So, here you need to write code to add models to your VS Code. So here, as you can see, I have two models, DeepSeek 6.7b. This is just the name, you can change name to anything, I'll just write DeepSeek. Since the model is 1.5b, I just tried DeepSeek 1.5b, and I also have downloaded Llama, and I also have this DeepSeek 1.5b that is. So we just downloaded, we had just downloaded the coding version, right? So what I can do is, you can go back 
and see what we had done already. We had done already deep seek coder, right? So, what you can do is here in your VS Code, just write deep seek instead of R1, write coder 1.5b. So, we will be using 1.5b coder for auto completion. As you can see, for auto completion, we will be using this model, and these two models are available for chat. We can use any of these two. So right now, Llama is being used. I can just change to Jeep Seek. And you can write anything here. Let's say sort an array in Python. So this is now this will use Jeep Seek 1.5b. And you can use autocomplete also. So that's let's just copy this part, right? And let's create a new file. Let's write some code. And here, let's say we want to do my list dot append and so on. So this append seven and so on. This is provided by DeepSeek autocomplete. So here, if you hover over this append, you can see you get an option to accept word and so on. So right now, I'm not sure why DeepSeek is auto completing to 7 so let's uh, let's try to loop run a loop to this and let's see how the auto complete works like right for i in now if you hover over this for a while it will give you a assertion a list of assertions so now right now it's showing one of seven you can just click on this array to see the solutions that deep seek is providing all right now you can just hit tab to auto complete and as you can see, AutoView Complete is also working well and everything is working locally. So this is how you can use models like DeepSeek, add Llama in your VS Code. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.